Hey there, girls and boys. This is the Samsung Fascinate. This is the Verizon version of the Galaxy S uh, phone. This is the last of four Galaxy S variations for all the four different carriers in the US. First, there was the T-Mobile Vibrant, which is right here. Second, there was the Samsung Captivate, which is right here for AT&T. And then there was the Epic 4G for Sprint, which is right here. And now we have the Samsung Fascinate for Verizon. So let me unbox this for you guys. It comes in a nice little black box with an embossed Samsung logo on it. And boom, there we go. Here it is. The Samsung Fascinate. And as you can see, it looks a lot like the Samsung Vibrant. The same general design and vibe with the little metal rim. So, um, I will remove the sticker at some point in the future. I need to take some pictures of this unboxing. Um, and I will leave the sticker on for the time being. So, here are the menu keys, standard fare here, Android. So we've got uh, menu, home, back, and search. And as you can see, there's a Samsung logo, the gorgeous 4-inch Super AMOLED display, daylight readable. And here we have the Verizon logo, the speaker grill, rather the... Uh, earpiece and the sensors for detecting your faces close by. On the left hand side we have the volume rocker right here. Let's try this again. There we are. So here I think is uh, to put the lanyard. This is the volume rocker and you get nothing else until you hit the bottom edge where you find the microphone and the latch for the battery door and then on the right hand side you have nothing until you hit the power lock key and this is exactly the same layout as the uh, Vibrant and the Captivate and here you have headphone jack and behind the sliding door here you have a micro USB uh, po um, power and data jack standard fare stuff so this is the size in front of the uh, Fascinate and here in the back you have the speaker grill for the speaker and a 5 megapixel autofocus camera with, uh, can, which can do 720p video recording. Let me show it to you a little better here. There we have it. You can see this also has a dual LED or maybe single LED, it's hard to tell, flash, single LED. So that's a little different because the uh, Captivate and the Vibrant don't have the, uh, the LED flash. Um, it uh, does have, the Epic does have an LED flash, however, but the Epic also has a dedicated camera button, uh, which is located here on the Epic. So, uh, again, there's a sticker here. I will remove that later um, uh, because I want to take some pictures of the unboxing. So let me just remove the, the, uh, the battery cover so we can look inside. Uh, same plastic battery cover as the Vibrant. And here we have a battery from Samsung. It's a 1500 milliamp hour. It's an H1. I'm not sure if it's the same battery as the other ones, but I'll check. It's a speaker. Uh, here's a micro SD card slot with a card inserted. Let's see what size the card is. Whoops, it flew right out. It is a 16 gigabyte card. Let me put that back in. There you go. 16 gigs. And then of course the camera and lens cover right there um, with the flash. So slightly different layout. The um, Let me just put the battery cover back on and I'll point out to you what I was about to say here. So on the, uh, on the Vibrant, the speaker is at the top here and here are the speakers at the bottom. So that's because this is GSM and this is CDMA. Of course, there's no SIM slot on this phone. So, um, let's see what else is in the box. 
We have a little piece of cardboard with nothing in it. And here we have tips, hints, and shortcuts from Verizon for Samsung Fascinate Galaxy S phone. And some blah, blah, blah. Drive responsibly, don't text and drive. Then we have a charger up here. This is a standard USB charger. Um, standard fair Samsung. You find it on most of the devices. You know. Um, then we have a USB data cable. As you can see, this is standard USB cable at one end. And if I can find the other end, here it is micro USB at the other end. There. And that's it in the box. It's empty. There's nothing else in there. So this is typical Verizon. They've been shipping their phones with very little, uh, no headsets of late. And the other um, devices from Samsung, the other Galaxy S's, have recently been shipping with uh, a bunch of accessories, including a micro uh, US or micro SD uh, SD card adapter for the Vibrant, for example. So um, let's have a quick look at comparing these four phones. So here's the Fascinate, and here's the Vibrant, and here's the Captivate, and here is the Epic 4G. So they all are Galaxy S devices. These two are GSM, these two are CDMA. Um, they all have slight variations. As you can see, the uh, Captivate has its own uh, shell and body design with a very interesting uh, battery door latch mechanism. Uh, it's very popular because it's pretty. And a metal back cover. The uh, Vibrate and uh, Vibrant, sorry, and Fascinate are almost identical in their shape and, and the design. The only difference is uh, there's a flash here and there's no flash and there is yes, GSM versus CDMA. Um, they're about the same thickness, these three. As you can see. And then the Epic kind of changes things a little bit because it is a slider. It is a little thicker as a result. Uh, let's compare it here to the Fascinate. And it does have some additional features. It has the camera placed in a different place with the flash as well. And it has the dedicated camera key, which the other ones don't have. Of course, it also has 4G and a front-facing camera. Um, so that is definitely the mother of all Galaxy S's. So they all have their own little personalities. And software-wise, they all have a touch with, lightweight touch with cell, uh, shell sorry, on top of standard Android 2.1. So this is it as far as the Galaxy S phones go. I mean, the, the, this is complete now. We have all four of them for the US market. They're all slightly different than the original Galaxy S. They all have their own names. And um, I'm looking forward to playing with the Fascinate and see what else is different and what they've changed. I hear that the search provider by default is now Bing and you cannot change that that it is stuck with it, you cannot use Google as a default shell. And that's very disappointing. Also, it seems that this metal rim is a little thinner than on the, um, on the Vibrant. As you can see here, the Vibrant kind of wraps around a little more. So there's some, these are my kind of initial impressions. Uh, weight is very light as usual. Um, with the, the, all Galaxy S's phones are pretty light. They're very thin. Uh, here's a comparison with the iPhone 4. As you can see, this is a pretty damn thin device. Here you go, size-wise. And of course, 4-inch screen versus 3.5-inch screen. Here's the back. So it gives you a feel for, for other devices. So anyway, I'm going to make another video where I do a first power on for this phone. Uh, and I'll, maybe I'll compare it to the other um, Android phones on Verizon's lineup. But until then, uh, stay tuned. Check out my other unboxing. I'm Tankerl. My blog is Tankerl Mobile. TNKGerald.wordpress.com. I've got a bunch of camera phone reviews, primarily the camera parts. and unboxings and some opinions on these devices which I get a lot of 
to uh, to play with so I get a good feel for the differences between them. This is the Samsung Fascinate. Stay tuned for more soon. Cheers.